they're, they're always looking for the open man. For Gonzaga, their go-to guy is the open man on every possession. That's a great way to play. Joel Ayayi comes up with the steal. Little give and go. Bounce pass to Suggs. And then Ayayi is there to clean it up. A 6'5 guard who averages better than eight rebounds. Clark with the basketball up top. After distributing, he cuts. Shot clock under 10. Hauser with it. They're usually comfortable late in the shot clock. Hauser caught the paint. National Player of the Year candidate himself. Good defense, Ayayi. He's not going to rip the rim down. He's not going to swat shots into the 10th row. He is just so fun to play, though, with his footwork, with his variety of moves. Three uh, to Suggs, and Nemhard is, a lot of people know, a two-year starter at Florida. So they've got about as good an insurance policy as they could have. Pass intercepted, is stepping in to take that one away, was Bouye. Young man that grew up in the Monterey area. That's six threes. And they're just executing so well when they squeeze that orange, which they've done most of the time. Good double there. And then a good recovery by Yayi. From the line on the season, one of the best shooters there is in the nation, whether it's from two, from three, or from the line. Well, here's the, uh, the end of the floor where it gets this possession defensively for Gonzaga. Gale's trying to hang in. Dan Fotu almost had his pocket picked by Yaid. Outstanding in this game. Had a 10-point lead at one point in time. Fotu along the baseline. Had his shot blocked from behind by Timmy. Kuzi can't get the shot off over Timmy. And Fotu stepped out of bounds. But I thought it should have been three free throws. And how about a steal by Carlisle, who drives. He was going to try to throw it down with the left hand. 7.23 to play. Julian Strother in the game for the first time, called for that foul for the Zags. Garza, double teamed. Ayayi came over to help out. Mm -hmm. Gives it off to none. Pretty good footwork by the big fellow there. Mm -hmm. Garza got a step, cut off with the double team. Ayayi, the two were pick sixes. Garza down low, working against Kisper, a little size mismatch. Three for Bohannon, a little too strong. And Ayayi with the re If you're BYU. Yeah, you already referenced the turnovers. They were so sloppy with the ball last night. Got away with it in an overtime win. They will not get away with that. Number one team in the country. Believe it. Reeby now feeds inside, and that one rejected, gathering it back in. Visser. A good block out by Kenneth Chakwuka there on Anton Watson. You know, Gonzaga doesn't look sharp right now. Usually the ball moves, there's player movement. They haven't had that the first couple. Williams, Brankic. For both of them, stumbles a little bit between now and Selection Sunday. Uh, do, you, do you look at them as fairly evenly matched if they were to meet on a neutral court? Very much so. I, I think that Baylor may be a little bit more athletic, have a little bit more length across the board. Barcelo gave it up. Johnson down the lane. Behind the back to Caleb Loner, And then the COVID pause. But on a positive note, they do have their entire roster available to them for the first time all season. Mickey McConnell, Emmett Nars, Stephen Holt. Jordan Ford, you've had multiple players in multiple years where you've had guards that could really take over the game. This year's team is lacking that. Vote two for three. Toss against Timmy, backing his way in. Now the double team came, that was effective. Bowen launches up a three and airballed it. Got his own thing going. You gotta be pretty original to come up with, everybody's doing something these days, so if you can come up with something nobody's ever done before, you put some work into it. He has been basically their offense over the last five minutes. Now, last year he was forced to run offense too. Ten seconds left. He's caught the double team. Gets a cousin of the of Lonzo, Lamelo, the Ball family. A little bit strong on that one. Kispert thought about it. Instead, Timmy gets a touch, but he left it short. Ball's loose. Ayayi comes up with it. 
And the rebound down to Culver. Has it taken away? Ayayi with the save. Kispert. Use the full 30 seconds of the shot clock at one end. You, you feel like you've got to manufacture speed. I think Ayayi would have been better served to jump stop, establish the offense, and work it in the half court. Well, the full court pressure is bugging the Gales a little bit. Hasn't necessarily translated into the college game, but he does all the things that allow teams to win. Gonzaga trying to disrupt this rhythm by Santa Clara, extends the pressure. Mustache at that time, but now that he's let the beard grow in, the mustache isn't as accentuated as it used to be. Yeah, and, and Gonzaga has had some uh, some personalities before, I guess you call them characters, in, in a great way. And uh, Unbelievable hot streak. Free throw shooting maybe, maybe one weakness for him, although even that's been much better of late. LMU's got to call a timeout. Of late, but when you can combine his maturity and his experience with the, the super talent of Jalen Suggs in the backcourt, that is uh, formidable to say the least. Nemhart is the guy that Gonzaga recruited originally before he chose Florida. So far this year, one of you raves about him as a... Oh, man. Person, a student, score, worker, and leader as well. Been there when they take the floor, and you can't even hear. It's a perfect venue for this conference tournament, the Orleans Arena, and these two schools in particular, they show out and support. They do. Some pressure from... Five-point lead, Zags, 3-10 to go. That little pressure took so much time off the clock. Now you're focused on team stuff. You don't have a chance for guys to get in uh, extra shots and get their own rhythm going. And now that they're back home. Kispert to the rim. In three games last season against Gonzaga, the Dons only allowed Corey Kispert eight three-point attempts in 120 minutes. Being number one entering the NCAA tournament and never relinquishing that. There's only been three teams to do that. That UNLV team that you mentioned. The Duke team in 91-92, and then that Kentucky team in 2014 and 2015. Pretty good size on the wings in front here. And Aruna going to beat that dog. Ayayi with the pick. What a great read. Nemhard backdoor. Ayayi for the layup. Gonzaga into the front court. Nice little move and feed Ayayi with the score. The one Harris Jr., redshirt freshman from Columbia, Missouri. Oh, and what a pass that was from Suggs to Ayayi. And everything but the finish. The bounce wouldn't go down for Sean McNeil. Again, a big key for West Virginia is can they make shots? Great feed, great cut. Final minute. Nemhard, another great pass, and Ayayi lays it in. The influence out on the floor. Yeah. Plays like a, I mean, he's a junior, but he plays like a guy in his late 20s. He's got kind of an old feel to him, and another. What happened today? Uh, I, I think Jerron Howard has just done a tremendous job, and they have one of the best recruiting classes in the hey! country coming in next year. In Zaga. Well, we know the shot clock won't be through. No. <laughs> we know that. <laughs> Suggs pulls down the easy rebound off the miss by Lee's Camp. Suggs lost control, but not really a two guard. He's a guard. He can defend. He's got. What did Mark do say about the competitiveness? Yeah, the competitive spirit was what he talked about. Yeah, and practice. I mean, Pepperdine couldn't really practice. They had kind of more individual work for the longest time. So they're not going to be. You would imagine they're not impressive. What he's been able to do in the last couple of weeks of this season. I mean, Corey Kispert was running away with Conference Player of the Year. And then you watch it. That look at that. Are you kidding me? preparation to play and the style that Iowa plays feeds into that Tom because both of these teams are really AI will attack and instead of challenging harms finds Kispert again this time a little bit short long rebound Gonzaga will get a third chance at it and they score Back out there and uh, and really gutted it out it was really impressive Johnny Smith with another bucket. Pepperdine back within five. You hear his name called. I think he has a chance to be a first rounder if he goes back to school. There he is putting. He's incredible moving off the ball. I think that's where he's improved during his time at Gonzaga. That the medical pros at Gonzaga are letting him do what he's doing right now. So hoping for the best, not just for this game, but long term. Great pass by Drew Timmy.
Yeah, he's just got to look opposite as quickly as possible if he's not going to get into a shot. A guy one-handed pass to the opposite side for Cook. Slips it inside. Lays it in. Actually, Baylor's a better three-point shooting team than Gonzaga. When was the last time we've said that in the last 20 years? But but I agree with you. Michigan is spectacular. And he's one away from his season high. He likes national TV. He sure does. The slip pass inside to one of the most compelling players to watch in college basketball. All the different things that he can do, all the different ways he can beat you. Well, especially in transition. And in there because some of the more experienced bigs have some foul trouble, or in the case of Shibwe, have fouled out. Timmy around his man, can't finish. Oh, and Culver let the re change in their travel schedule. They came down yesterday instead of a Saturday. <laughs> Trying to limit the amount of time. Brown. Couldn't hold on to it. Kisper with a good look at it. Oh, yeah, he couldn't hold on to it. Kisper comes back, recovers. Rebound to Ayayi off the glass. Here comes Jalen Suggs. Suggs has started to take over this game. Kisper, trailer three. No, Ayayi snaps the offensive rebound and he... Those are the missed opportunities that you have to be able to complete if you're going to try to pull off an upset against this team. They're and also again, not give rebound up an offensive the rebound. I mean, that. Gonzaga's not moving the way they normally move. They got to get better ball movement and player movement. That's that's the way they play, and thus far it's been a little bit slow. Tim Hart dribbles in, goes to Suggs from the corner. A little too strong. Ayayi with the rebound. It's been a remarkable year for Mark Pope's team in a lot of ways for a lot of different reasons. All right, continue to hit that. Not a perfect night for Drew Timmy, but Ayayi got shoved. Over Virginia earlier this year. That low Timmy. Game. Ayayi sneaks in for an offensive rebound. Match up with Gonzaga because of that tremendous quartet yes. of perimeter players that Baylor has. Then Hart spin move. Reverses his field. Ayayi. Nimhard. All on display. The three-point shooting has been phenomenal. Look at Ayahi find a way. He's a sneaky rebounder. This was canceled. They would have. And BYU is putting together a great season because of rebound by Nimhard. Cook. He made one in the first half. Ayahi with the offensive rebound. And he tries to sweep in the put. Both teams are just really balanced. A great hustle play by Loner got BYU the ball, but the Cougars couldn't capitalize, so they're still down 13. Cook dishes to Balo, the big man who missed the layup. Arms switch to the right hand. Rebound Ayayi. Ayayi found Nemhard. Florida he told me his soccer playing as a youngster interesting helped with his perspective and vision you know those games are similar 70 games in two years in the SEC at Florida has come to Gonzaga and mostly comes off the bench for the number one ranked team in the country Barcelo three no I haven't really seen a lot of touches for him you talking not about late. not late 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 I should say on to Thompson rebounded by Ayayi and the Loose ball, Ayayi tips it into the hands of Watch Kispert. Out. Yeah, Watch here out. goes Nemar. He steps back into a three, no. Ayayi. Right now, all the up for grabs they have to come up with. McCormick is picked off by Ayayi. European real estate. Oh, yeah, the Frenchman taking care of position. They'll set a flare screen or a down screen. And Mark View said, we don't practice that. They just know how to do it. Now you see that. Yeah, you've got to personalize and understand everybody responds differently. You can't have this one leadership style. You have to know your teammates. And I think that's something that we've seen all season long for Gonzaga. They're not there right now. Logan Johnson starting to feel a little more confident. That was good defense, though, around the rim. Great pass. Ayayi to catch and the lay in. Chami, did you not? I did. Reeve oh, not good. able to hit. Outlet up ahead. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Counted. The transfer from Florida makes it 3 2 Gonzaga. 
What a difference maker he has been for this team, giving them an extra added ball handler out on the floor, takes pressure off of Jalen Suggs. Tommy Cousy went all the way, missed. Johnson, three. Here comes Suggs with the great outlet pass. Ayayi with the catch. And Brash, but Timmy himself admits, Jay, some of it is just to try to get the other guys off balance a little bit. He might just strike up a conversation with an opponent as Ayayi gets out ahead of the field. Monterey oh, nice. County. How about that? Ron San Rivera Diego State. Well. Great pass. Ayayi oh, puts it pass. in. Well, neither team has distinguished itself from the strike today. Garza with that rebound is a double-double, not really good. Yeah, that one was off the mark. Rebound controlled by Nemhart. Ayayi, plenty of time. Ayayi steps through and finishes with the finger roll. Suggs, nice Ayayi. Marcel with a nice job on Suggs, dribble drive. Ayayi for three. My lasting memory so far of this WCC tournament, I've never seen so much blood on a court. <laughs> That's more memorable than Barcelo's. Conley had a nice first half, but I don't know if that's the kind of possession Herb Sendek wants. Nemhard, good find. Ayayi, yes, a three. Nemhard with less than a minute to go in the half. Ten on the shot clock. What a nice job by Shibwe on that high screen. And Ayayi buries the three. The scoring guard there. That bucket stretches the lead back to ten. Ayayi. Bangs home a three. Heath is from Australia. He came into this game only one of nine from the field, but he can really shoot it. Excellent free throw shooter. He's got a great stroke. After that last turnover for the Zags, I don't know if you could see Sean in the background, but Mark Few threw his hands up in the air. He, I think he's been frustrated these last couple minutes. Grandfather played at Kansas in the 70s. Great pedigree for him. Tied at 57. And a nice job icing there. Suggs cross court. Ayayi with a three. And it's Ayayi. A quick shot by Gale Standards by Judah Brown. No good. Here comes Jalen Suggs leading the way for Gonzaga. He loves those drop back transition passes. Being aggressive, Gideon George now finding his way in the scoring, scoring column twice. First offensive rebound of the game for BYU. 48% from the field last year and under 44% as a team this year. Ayayi. I thought he could have just gone and dunked it. Instead, he just shot it right through. Another made bucket for BYU. That's seven field goals in a row made. Ayayi three. Good. Hard to run your stuff against St. Mary's because of the way they defend, and they could be very physical as well. Logan Johnson, the lefty. The three goes in and out for him. And a back and down. They Logan Johnson with a nice drive, but misses the five-footer. In the back come the Zags in transition. Ayayi, really? First I lead to be for San Francisco, Suggs. Can I say Bouye a few times tonight? Yeah, you can. Bouye! <laughs> and you can mean it. Ella. Yeah, Mark Few telling his team, push the pace. Get the ball up court quickly. Ayayi with his... Not a lineup that the Zags have used a lot, this combination. Mark Few kind of searching. Ayayi found an opening. Ayayi getting past the big in McCormick. And that's what they're... 75 and 76. And that's the option that Zags and their fans are hoping to select this year. Ayayi throws one up and in. Joel Ayayi. Box to box, high post. Timmy just keeps his guy busy and enables this happen to happen. This or that wouldn't go. Ayayi zags with the ball up five, closing in on the four minute mark. And that'll go. 19.7 rebounds a game this year. Ayayi with that small lineup getting to the rim and a foul. On this St. Mary's roster, he knocks down the three and gets him back within two. Well, Koto had a really good game against Gonzaga in the first one at 15.7. Nemhard kicks. Ayayi shot fake. Oh, wow! 
been very effective for teams if you're able to get there. When you have shooters, you can space the floor, find a seam and attack. Great pass. Suggs to Ayayi goes right to the rim. I think these Virginia kids will respond once they understand. I would agree with that. The demands on that defensive end you know, sets up everything for them. Little. I like the tie. And an arm. Oh, That's man. Pretty I think he's got six I, touchdowns. I, oh. Some teams prepared for four different teams before they played their first game. Yeah, everybody you, dealing you think, with different situations. Yeah. If you think players' eyes glaze over for a normal scouting report. Uh, we're a little bit spoiled with Kate Cunningham, who's got a 7-2 wingspan, and he can play the point guard position. Yeah, he was really good. Yeah. yeah. Again, the activity so pivotal of Timmy. Look at this. Yeah, just freezing like, just stuff. Amazing. Just of the year. They lead the country in points per game, field goal percentage, two-point field goal percentage, effective field goal percentage. Six of eight threes against that Towson team. Mm -hmm. This kid can fill it up. And now under four to play. And had a, certainly had a great opportunity to do something special, but so did so did St. Mary's last year. Heck, St. Mary's won 26 games. The, the analytics tell you what you have done, not necessarily what you're capable of doing and how much better you can get in certain areas. Uh, but both Gonzaga and Baylor are top 10. He can move, too. He's got good footwork. Good of understanding of offensive skills. This is late. Shot yeah. clock. Shot clock to three. Timmy. Timmy really trying to get position. Ayayi wraps the pass around, and Timmy gets in. Just keep winning. And th th this pipeline is incredible. Ayayi, good feed inside. The screen for the screener action to get the ball to Ayayi. Cook in the corner, inside to Timmy, got a bit of a seam. Ayayi got cut off. Watson will shoot the three. I think Bero and the family, they're all working hard to uh, get Dave uh, healthy. Dave, we're thinking of you. Everybody in the WCC is thinking about you. And here comes the senior Aaron Cook. Oh, nice look. Yeah. Beautiful. Again, you don't have to be great all the time defensively when you've got offense like these te two teams have. But there are periods in games where you... Jalen Suggs drives, found a wide open Ayayi who kicks it over to Nemhar. And, and when they cut, you know, they'll, they'll have slot cuts, vertical cuts. Uh, it's really it's really magnificent to watch how they play off one another. Just that, that read right there. Spurred ability teams in the country. Like Craven, Craven would be in that neighborhood as well as Villanova and Michigan State. But these two are at the top of the heat. First half of two fouls. Trying to put his stamp here on the second half. Suggs had it. Well, what foot work that time by Garrett, huh? You can see why he was named. Look at all those accolades. Why would you leave him alone? Oh. Williams got it. Ayayi feeds. Both bigs there to meet him. Suggs. To have like a, tw a plus 25 point night. I mean, he had 25 on Saturday. He had 26 earlier this year against Santa Clara. He's more than capable of doing it in the last four games. Three not there, and down with the rebound is Kispert, a senior who toyed with the idea of turning pro, found out, you know, what he needed to work on. Probably Timmy down low, Caruso battling with him. The IE does a lot of everything for this team. Timmy's got inside presence, and he's got a bucket. Barcelo, three, no. Rebound controlled by Ayayi. I thought Jalen Suggs, I said it that night, in Provo looked like the number one pick in the draft. 15 years ago, maybe even a decade ago, where they were upset a couple times in the tournament. Last five tournaments, two Sweet 16s, two Elite Eights, the dunk in transition. Bohannon, Bohannon fires three, no good. He's just been off today. Ayayi with the rebound. Here we go in transition to the alley. 
failed to set the shot he wanted. Nunji trying to answer and is unable to do so. Iowa scoreless the last two minutes plus. Nemhart for the fact that the West Coast Conference is not Big Ten, Big 12, ACC caliber. Well, Iowa looks like a pretty good defensive team. 29 points for Kispert. Clark can't get that one to go. Kispert leaves it for AIE, and here is Suggs. Throw the ball up ahead to his wings. Frankich denied. Ayayi, this is Suggs with the left hand. Abaji off target. Watson the rebound, and he gives it. Nice pass. Ayayi off to ball. This is being played the way West Virginia wants it to be played, right? It's being played like a, a backyard brawl, exactly. That was not a good shot for West Virginia. Anytime you make every pass difficult, it's hard to establish rhythm. There's a Yai in transition for the Zags. There's Kispert pulling out. He said, you know, we need a niche somewhere. We just can't recruit to Northwest. We've got to find a niche. And Tommy said, well, I like to travel. Unfortunately, I only have six or seven away. <laughs> Not going by Anton Watson. Pretty. The lob to the rim for Jalen Suggs. Beautiful.